Having way too much, uh, way too nice a time speaking with Tom Martin here, the pastor at the Perrysburg campus of Cedar Creek Church. And thank you so much for waking up early. It's my pleasure. Us. Glad and, to be here. Yeah, and you said your breakfast was uh, Diet Coke. Diet, Diet Coke. Coke. Breakfast yeah. with lime because it's. Well, you have to have that fruit juice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nutrition of champs. <laughs> and nutrition is really what this is all about. You guys are doing a, a really great cause, uh, raising a lot of awareness and food for Absolutely. those who need it in the community. You know, this is Impact 419. We call it hope for our hunger. What's happening right here in Northwest Ohio? And, you know, the need has never been greater than what it is right now. And that, right. that's a sad note, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, that's why it's so important for all of us to get involved. Let's get all the details of the, the who, what, when, and where uh, of this drive. Well, what we're, it really is our hope and prayer that we raise and collect enough food for four of the area food banks right here in Northwest Ohio for the whole year. Toledo Seed Gate Food Bank, Cherry Street Mission, Vision Kitchen, as well as Food for Thought. And, and so what we've done is we're working in collaboration with some amazing partners. So we have ProMedica, you know, the Toledo Blade, the Andersons is on board, Cumulus, the Toledo Blade, did I say the Blade already? You said, I yeah. Did. Buckeye Cable. We were only allowed to mention them once on air. <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> Washington Local Schools. And what we've done is it's just a collaboration of working together, of seeing if we can not just raise awareness, but literally collect food. Yeah, and, and you know, we eat a lot during this time of year, and sometimes we forget that not everyone is as fortunate. And so around this time, a lot of people go in need of basic things. And some of these basic things uh, is what you're asking for the community to bring in. It is, and, and it, it really isn't a difficult process. What we wanted to do is make this as simple as, you know, just pick up one of these bags. Inside of it is a shopping list. Go and purchase those items wherever you like to purchase them and just drop them off. We've got drop-off locations at all four La Anderson's locations, all four of the Cedar Creek Church. You can take it to Vision Kitchen or right to Cherry Street Mission. It's really a simple process. And, you know, if all of us do a little, we're going to make a huge impact. And we see some of the foods that have been requested uh, right here. Are there some, and without, you know, reading off the whole list, are there some that you have a greater need for? than others? Are, are you looking Well, you know, there's, there's, <laughs> that's one of the things that we wanted to do is not just, you know, kind of empty out our cupboards, but really get the things that, that the food banks are asking for. And so, you know, the, the cereals, the, you know, the hamburger helper, the chicken helper, uh, you know, canned vegetables, canned fruit, uh, the things that will last, baked beans. Uh, there's a whole list. If you go to impact419.tv, there's a, a grocery list that you can check out right there and has all the items listed on it. And, and that really, uh, I just can't emphasize enough, you know, when, when you're down there and you're able to help see these families that we're serving, we served last night at Vision Kitchen, uh, it, it just it makes you think twice about what you do have. Right, uh, and know. sometimes th it may not seem a lot to us, like a lot to us, but it's the uh, factor that may help a family get over that next week until the next paycheck comes. Mm -hmm. It is, you know, you, you, you can see that happen. And, and, you know, the other thing is, is that just the idea of being able to have a warm meal, you know, for these groups. And so these organizations that are down there providing these meals, they need this food in order to continue the, you know, the, the ministry that they do. And they do a phenomenal job. And that's why we're, we're you know, as, as Cedar Creek Church, we're just trying to work in collaboration with the groups that are already out there doing it. Well, Pastor Tom Martin, thank you so much for doing My this pleasure. for the community, My pleasure. for coming in and talking about it. Uh, Pastor Tom Martin, Cedar Creek Church. You can participate in this, pick up your bag, your grocery list, get involved and help some folks out that really need it this time of year. 621, we will be right back. With